Hello everybody, this is I Am Sporticus, and today we're taking a little breather from the Super Featherweight Tournament with Title Bout 2 PC, just for a moment to kind of go over how I've been going uh, about uh, setting up my divisions. Uh, I've got every division so far now except for the newest one, which is just, it's kind of coming out slowly. I think the cards are already out. I'm not sure if the computer version is set yet, but I just kind of go through and on my own, you know, just a few fights a day. I'll go in and sim and uh, eventually get a champion. And that way, going forward, I can kind of set up um, uh, different types of uh, one-off bouts. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how quickly uh, I'm going to get a cruiserweight champion here. Uh, I did most of it already, but uh, down to the final eight fighters. Uh, let's go to the ring and or let's go to the bracket first to see how it is uh, set up so uh, there was another round one but uh, I just showing you the top 32 and how it turned out uh, surprising Ralph uh, Rajiani Rash I can't pronounce his name Rashiani uh, upset James Tony. I thought Tony would win that. Uh, Alexander Usyk is into the uh, round four. Um, I'm trying to remember what else we had. Wow, he had a, a tough matchup against Yurov in the first round. He's now into the. Uh, round f four uh, against uh, Jean-Marc Mormack. Uh, Holyfield is cruised. He'll take on Ezra Sellers. I think that's about it. Not a really, I, I didn't really, it's not a super strong division. Not a lot of, uh, elite fighters in this division uh, but first up it's going to be Juan Carlos Gomez going up against Jeff Lampkin uh, so we go to the at first before I start that let's take a look at the rankings I'll show you now I got a surprise heavyweight ranking and I know the the sim uh, aspect of it um, I think I read somewhere that it's not uh, not to be used as a um, judging a fighter's uh, abilities. I guess I can't remember where I read that, but it 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 said don't use that strictly. But to use it as a just to kind of set up your divisions, I don't see anything. But Peter Jackson went eight zero with two knockouts and won the uh, heavyweight tournament. Um, beat uh, I believe he beat Jack Dempsey in the final so that's who then and the other one was flyweights I did the flyweights as well Jimmy Wilde pretty much cruised uh, to the uh, thing that one loss was in a exhibition fight and I think it was another division uh, that's his total but if you look at um I'll show you. But uh, he fought uh, Oba in the final. Good final. Good thing, but he knocked him out. Uh, Pasquale Perez was also in that uh, semifinals. And uh, some good little fighters in this division. Uh, that was a fun one to do. But Jimmy Wilde, not a surprise. The Mighty Adam uh, was, what, 6-0 uh, and oh with three knockouts. Oh, I did the featherweights too. I'm sorry. Willie Pep won that 7 0 1 with two knockouts. So I got three of the world champions. I believe that's all I've done so far. Yeah. So we are at the cruiserweights. You can go in there and edit the rankings by removing a fighter uh, I went through and 
deleted all the um, uh, fictional guys. But uh, I kind of wish it was a little more user friendly, but uh, it's all right. So let's go to our first fight here. Uh, I already forgot what it was here. Juan Gomez against Lampkin. Cruiserweight. Uh-oh. Got myself an error message. So, try that again. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Welcome to a lifetime of board game boxing. Pre All right, let's try that again. I might have had two screens open at the same time. Juan Carlos Gomez against... Jeff Lampkin, Oop, not that one, and uh, as you look at there, both are sluggers, Lampkin does not do well against sluggers, so it's going to be a Juan Carlos Gomez, I think, now this is another uh, area I wish that uh, Bill would uh, kind of go along with his uh, inside sports games, and have it where you can save settings because um, I don't like to play with injuries or I don't use the missed punches um, endurance in adjusting the endurance uh, 10 rounds I leave the uh, three knockdown roll off Save by the bell no quick play That's what I do for that, and then just sim it. Looks like I went the distance 97, 91, 95, 92, 95, 92 for the winner. Juan Carlos Gomez. We really didn't uh, expect anything different there. Looks like, oh, wow, looks like Lampkin might have had a, a knockdown of Gomez in the sixth. But uh, Gomez would win the next four rounds to complete the victory. Let's take a look at the fight log. Lampkin strong in the second. Third, it was Gomez. Oh, Gomez almost had a TKO there in the fourth. 33 to nothing points-wise. Just pummeled him. In the fifth, back and forth round. Yep, Lampkin did knock Carlos down in the Sixth round with a combination. What a fight. It looks like it would have been an exciting fight. Lampkin did uh, hit, land some big power shots. Um, But he wins the the uh, unanimous decision, and he'll move on to the semifinals. So Gomez, then I just Gomez advances. Now we have Holyfield against Sellers. Holyfield. Uh, oh, 
Was that Gorilla Jones? I think so. And Lebedev. Uh, O'Neill Bell. Holyfield beat uh, O'Neill Bell and Bo uh, Gorilla Jones. I, be bo I believe both those were by knockout. And now he'll take on Ezra Sellers in this round. So again, we go to the cruiserweights. And we go Holyfield against Sellers. Look at that chin for Holyfield. He is got a chin on him here in the cruiserweight division. He is a far superior fighter. We head to the ring. He'll go in as a boxer. Doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a quick one. Holyfield with a TKO win. Holyfield was up on all three cards at the time of the stoppage. Comes right out of the gate. 21-0 in the first. 16-2 in the second. And then finally called in the uh, fourth round that Sellers was knocked down for the second time. And Holyfield wins it. TKO victory. <laughs> Up next, Alexander Yusik going against Rajiano Rajiani. Usyk rated a little higher. Control-wise, probably the edge will go to uh, Usyk. Usyk's got more power. The chin is better. I look for Usyk in a stoppage. Let's take a let's go to the ring and find out. Goes the distance, and Usyk's gonna Usyk's gonna win by a unanimous decision. Not much of uh, not much of a showing for Rajiano, Rajiani. Looks like Usyk won almost every round. Nine out of ten rounds. Dominating performance. Let's 
Look at that, 174 to 42. Unbelievable. Obliteration. And he knocked Rajana down three times in the fight. So an easy victory for Yusik. And he goes into the semifinals. Final semifinal will be a good one. Jean-Marc Mormec. Jean-Marc? Is it Jean-Marc? I can't remember if it's Jean-Marc or Jean-Marc. Mormec against Dwight Mohammed Kawi. Kawi. So, I don't have pictures for a lot of these guys in the lower divisions. Uh, I, I kind of get them as I go. Um, but, uh, Mormek the Marksman, and Kwawi the Camden Buzzsaw, rated both as sluggers and both uh, pretty looked at pretty highly. Mormek has the uh, control uh, edge, but... Uh, Kwawi is the uh, more aggressive fighter. Both have... Mormek actually has better power. But uh, Kwawi has a better chin. This could be a good... This would be a good fight. Let's see how it turns out. Uh, for a chance to go to the semifinals. And it's over. Round seven, a stoppage by Jean-Marc Mormek. He gets the TKO victory. Close fight. Well, not really. Two of the judges had it 58-53, but one had it 56-55. Mormek. No knockdowns in the fight. Big combination early in the seventh. Had Kwawi uh, on the ropes. Another shot. All these power shots. He kept just landing. And Kwawi's defense was nowhere in sight as he kept landing shot after shot until finally the judge or the referee Octavio Myron Marin stops it at 132 of round seven and Mormack will go to the next round. Now we're down to the final four. Juan Carlos Gomez against Evander Holyfield. I can't see really anybody stopping Holyfield. He has got the edge in almost every category of every fighter. And that that jaw is he's gonna have to run into a, a technical fighter to, to lose I think it any slugger he fights he's he's definitely got the edge and he'll go as a boxer here though because uh, Gar Gomez is eight And it's over, just like that. Stopped in round three, Holyfield all over Gomez. Not much of a 
Not much of a, a showing from him. Holyfield dominates. Round one, right out of the gate. He had Carlos in trouble. Round two, more of the same. And then just kept going. And finally, the referee saw enough. Said, this is not a competitive fight. And he stops it here in round three. Evander Holyfield cruises into the final. He'll take on the winner of this last fight. Alexander Usyk against Jean-Marc Mormek. Who you got in this one? Let's take a look. Both these fighters ranked fairly even. Man, really even. Slightly better chin for Usyk. I'm going to call it a TKO victory for Mormack here. Let's see what happens. Looks like it went to the, goes the distance. 96-90, 97-90, and 95-91 for the winner by unanimous decision. Jean-Marc Mormack, and he'll go on to face the Vander Holyfield in the championship final. Looking at the uh, cruiserweight title here. Here we go. Let's get right to it. The marksman against the real deal, and Holyfield has the edge. Both have good power. Holyfield a little more accurate with his punches. Holyfield with a better chin. Endurance way better. This is going to be uh, look at Holyfield's a zero, so he won't be getting any uh, you won't be seeing him get stopped. Ten rounds, and then we're going to set it as a world title fight. Here we go. Boom, like that. Round three, N knockout winner from Evander Holyfield. He takes Mormack out early and wins this one for the vacant world cruiserweight title. And Holyfield cruises in this tournament. Not even a question. Well, I guess it was. McC Looks like McC Mormack won the first round. Whoop. Wrong one. I wanted to... It was very slight, though. They're kind of filling each other out. Second round, though. Holyfield. And 
landed some good shots. And then in round three, crushing hook put Wormick on the uh, on the canvas for the first time. And then down he went again with a combination and could not get up, could not beat the count. And the winner Holyfield wins it. Mormack didn't really get a chance here as uh, Holyfield just quickly jumped on him there in the third round. There you go, Holyfield was the winner. So that's how I go about it. Now I got, uh, whoop. I'm always curious to see what the, uh, the rankings say. World champion is Holyfield. So you look at that. I just don't understand how they do the rank, how he's got the rankings being set up here. I wish he would also, if you had to edit, instead of just removing a fighter. You could edit it like put him in order or or something to that effect. So that's how we do it. I'm, and as I play my super featherweight tournament, I'm playing that fight by fight. I'll like throw in some fights of a different division. I'm not sure which one I'll do next. I'm trying to start with the lower number of fighters first because some of the the fight the weight classes that have a lot of fighters takes quite a bit more time. So kind of been starting with the smaller uh, weight classes. But it's it's fun to kind of just get a uh, a world champion then that way you can kind of play off that and you could always do uh, more tournaments like the top 16 fighters you know to see um, who gets a shot at the world champion or something to that effect a lot of different things you can do so that's it from here. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.